Welcome to HS One of the Weather. I'm Stephen Mural, just our Simpson. Taking a look outside, we have a uh, current temperature of 39. Dew point is at 39. The barometer is at 30.27 inches, and that is currently falling. Taking a look at the current temperatures: uh, 62 in uh, Dallas, 68 in Atlanta, 44 in Boston, and the coolest spot this morning is Minneapolis. You guys are at 30 degrees, and there is a uh, noticeable. Uh, bubble of uh, warm air that's going to be moving through on the tail end of this there's actually a uh, cold front that'll be affecting our area taking a look at temperatures closer to boston 50s out towards the uh cape and the islands and lower 40s out towards western mass in the berkshires taking a look at the uh, national radar you'll notice that uh these showers that is indication of that cold front that'll be moving through our area tomorrow morning other than that just a few uh, showers out towards the uh, pacific northwest taking a look at the current surface analysis as I mentioned, that cold front, which will be moving through the uh, middle of the country today, and it will be affecting us tomorrow morning. And take a look at the current surface analysis. You'll notice the leading edge of that uh, cold front that's uh, way off towards Michigan. And right now, we just have a mix of uh, southern clouds over our area, mainly uh, cloudy at this point. I stepped out. It's really a gray-type morning, not the type of morning that you really just want to stay in bed for. You don't even want to get up. That's how I felt this morning. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the uh, clouds are over us right now. I think that it will be hard to break those clouds throughout the day today. Taking a look at the uh, projected high temperatures for today. Uh, Boston, mid-50s, and uh, out towards the uh, south, um, out towards the uh, south, they'll be in the uh, upper 70s. In the Texas coast, you guys will be in the upper 80s. That is some warm air. And tomorrow, as I mentioned, that cold front moves through tomorrow morning. We actually could reach our high temperature uh, really early in the morning. Uh, that's how uh, big this uh, cold front is going to be. And then it's going to rain starting in the morning until about uh, midday. Uh, I'd give an estimate of about 4 to about 12 o'clock. Uh, that's when you're really going to, from 4 o'clock in the morning to about lunchtime, that's when you're going to see that rain. And today, looking ahead, Thursday's going to be right around 40, seasonably warm for uh, Friday as well as the weekend. I'm expecting temperatures to be right around 50, which is uh, seasonally warm for this time of year. And next week, storm, question mark. I'm thinking that there will be a storm early next week. Now, right now, at this point, I think it's going to be uh, too far uh, west of us to bring us any snow, but it will be bringing us some rain at this point. Uh, the time frame for that is early next week, either Monday or Tuesday for this particular storm. So we'll obviously, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Nothing said in snow at this point, but the models have been pretty solid uh, bringing that storm west and leaving us on the warm, rainy side. Then the late week, there could be another storm, and this gets really complicated having these uh, storms both at, in the uh, Atlantic uh, Sea, both in the northeast at the same time. Now, the second storm, I'm thinking at this point it would be snow or at least a mix of snow and rain. But this is a uh, time frame for this second storm is uh, late week, next week. So lots of time to fine-tune, just throwing it out there that there could be a uh, storm uh, early next week as well as late next week. And thanks for joining us. I'm student meteorologist Charles Simpson. Remember, you can always find the latest fun information by going to my Facebook page, Charles Simpson-MHS 103 Weather.